Hey guys, The Challenger here, and today we're going to be building a Norfolk Southern SD70 ACE locomotive. And as you can see, it's right here, and I'm also working on projects like the 6901, the Southern Crescent Limited uh, E8 locomotive, and the Amtrak Superliner Phase 4. Right there. You can see it there. It's uh, I don't really like the way it's turning out, so that might not really finish. But whatever. So, the locomotive we're building today is this one right here, it's the SC70 ACE, and the cool thing about this is that, like the prototype, you can enter through the front with this door, so you just open the door, and then uh, on the real locomotive there'd be like a laboratory here, and then you can uh, control, you can enter the cab, this is the first diesel I've built where you can actually enter the cab through like a door, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And now let's go ahead and get this started. So as always, we're going to be grabbing some items from this as we go along. But some of the items in my inventory right now are the things you'll need. But we'll grab more as we go along. So to get things started, you're going to want to build five stormbrick stairs across like this. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then take stone slabs and layer them up three like this. And now take a piston and place it right there and take stone slabs and place them like this. Okay, now you're going to want to take. <clears throat> sorry. Oh, let's find gray stained clay. Right, now take gray stained clay and place three, uh, four, three two by two blocks well, on each side. Like this. Now you have this. Okay, and then take black stained clay. And place it like this. Okay, so now this is the fuel tank, and you're gonna want to make this eight blocks long and two blocks high and three blocks wide. So one, two, three, okay, so. So this is the fuel tank, and now build another three, um, uh, another uh, set of six wheels with gray stain clay, like this. Oh my gosh! So now you have this, and now go ahead and take stone slabs and just run them along uh, the side like this. Stop right here. So now you have this. And so for the trucks, you're going to want to make, um, well, you're going to want to take a stone slab, stone brick slab, and a cobblestone wall. So now with your stone brick slabs, connect them using three like this and like this and then place one there two here and one here and then in between those place cobblestone walls do the same on the other side and now for the rear trucks do the same And there you go. This is the basic chassis of the locomotive. And so now we're going to get the uh, a rear walkway. So take um, take stone slabs, place them like this, and then take stone brick stairs, place them up like this. Oh, yeah, place one right there, and place one right here, and then. Once again, take five stonework stairs, place them across like this. So now you have this, and then I take this out and put three stone slabs right here, and take a piston, and this is your rear coupler. So now that we've finished off the basic chassis, we're gonna go ahead and build the body of the locomotive. So you can go ahead and fill in 
uh, these areas with stone brick slabs for now. Uh, we might need to change some of these out for um, spruce wood slabs, but we'll do that later. So go ahead and fill this in. Like so, and now let's move on to the body. So for the front, you're going to want to take black stained clay, place two right here, and then take a door, a regular door, any type of door, which one, whichever one you think looks best, place one right there, and place black stained clay right here and right here. Then take two black stained clay, layer them up like this and like this, and then just run it along, but we're going to be working on the front for now, so you don't have to layer it up that far. And now take stone brick stairs, place one right here, and one right here. And now uh, take string uh, right here, take some string, and place it, not here, place it right here and right here. And then take black stained clay, place it right here, oops, not right there, right here. And then take a door and place it right here. Actually, change this out with gray stain clay because this is going to be the uh, the controls for the cap. And now you can go ahead and take glowstone wherever that is. Glowstone, where are you? Right here. Take glowstone, place it right here, and right here, just to light the place up. And then take carpet. Uh, black carpet and just place it on top of this place it on top of the door make sure you're pressing shift while you're doing that place on the string place it on top of the door again pressing shift and then right here and let me just see if this is correct yep okay so now take glass and oh, let's get some glass take glass and put three blocks right here and then take uh, quartz stair and quartz blocks. Oh, that's not quartz. Let me set the time today. So now with your quartz block, uh, place three right here and then place a stair right here. Right here. And then take um, stone brick stairs and place them right here like this uh, you want to place four of them and then take a stone brick slabs and place them right here and now you're going to want to take black sand clay and place two up right here and right here so you have this kind of shape. This is the window for the cab. And then do the same on the other side. And then go ahead and place glass inside of there. So now you have this. And now we're going to finish off uh, building the rest of the body. So take uh, black sand clay and build up two, up two, and up two. So you have three like this, and then build um, out like this, and then take black sand clay, place it right here, right here along the top, and then uh, stack them up and continue building the body this and then more. Just keep building arches of this and then once you get to three blocks uh, from this uh, kind of, uh, cab entrance walkway then um, build three blocks up instead of four like this and then continue that for Five blocks, I'm sure. Like this. Okay, you're actually gonna want to continue this one more block for so for six blocks. 
So right here it goes down uh, one block for six blocks long. And then take st uh, stone brick slabs, place them along like this. And then you can leave this out and take a stone slab and put an exhaust vent right there. And then now take black stained clay and build it back up to the same height as this. And build one out. And then make it six blocks long again. Oops. And then continue this until right here. Now you have this. And then delete these two blocks and place some brick stairs right here and right here. Now you can also place some brick stairs along the bottom of this. Like that. And for uh, what resembles the Norfolk Southern logo, start right here, place blocks of quartz like this, so place five blocks of quartz like that, and on the other side like this. So now you have this, and take iron bars and surround the uh, locomotive with them. And right here you can either leave this blank or take a fence gate birch fence gate and place it right here and then open it so it's kind of like a continuation of the rail so like there's no gap in the rail but that's your choice and now continue your iron bars around the whole locomotive like this back and right here So now you have this. Okay, so now in the back, uh, for the Norfolk Southern Horse logo, go ahead and place blocks of quartz. So three right here. And then take an item frame and some redstone lamps. And these are the rear lights. Place them like this. And then take a sign. And we're going to go ahead and start numbering the locomotive. Uh, I'm going to uh, number mine 1044, which is an actual SC70 ACE that Norfolk Southern runs. So 1044, you don't have to use 1044, you can use any number that you want, but I'm just going to choose to use 1044. And then just for here, you can just put NS and then your number. And for the other side, NS. NS for Norfolk Southern, obviously. And then for the front, for the front headlight, uh, oops. take sign, put your number again, your number again, and item frame and red sun light. That's the front light. Oh, yeah, also, okay, this, the you actually have to have this fence gate here. Uh, the, um, that's for the ditch lights, so hold shift and place an item frame there. Then let's put some redstone lamps in here, and those are the ditch lights. Look pretty nice. And then take black carpet and run it along the top. Also grab a quartz slab, and this is the AC unit or GPS. I forgot. I forgot which one, but it's one of those. Place it right here, and run black stain car. Or black carpet across the top. Do the same here. But leave a hole out. We're gonna put a vent here like this and another one right here. So now um 
actually move this back one. Okay, so now you have this. And uh, actually move this forward. Or you can place two like this. Or yeah, just move it forward. <laughs> okay, so now you have this. And now, uh, if you want to stop here, this is the exterior completed. And we're going to go ahead and work on the interior. So, for the interior, go ahead and open this door. You can enter through here. Um, th there's like no possible way we can put anything in there. But uh, So, yep, yeah, we're walking through here. And take uh, spruce slabs and stairs. Or actually, you can use spruce wood uh, planks and spruce wood stairs. And place one right there. So, oh, just kidding, right there. And then place uh, spruce wood planks around. So now you have this nice entry. And then take a lever. So you can be cool and like, control your train and stuff, yeah. And then take court stairs, place them like this. And so that's um, the interior, almost finished. And you can also take a redstone lamp. Take this out, uh, put it in here, and then cover it up with carpet. So now you have interior lighting for, uh, not a red, what am I doing? Not a redstone lamp, a piece of glowstone, sorry. So now you have interior lighting that and then take an iron door and actually put some furnaces in here this, this is like the engine just some furnaces and take an iron door and a button so you can enter the engine room thing and yep that's basically it for the interior another thing for the interior is if you want some nice wood floors uh, in this hallway, just go ahead and replace some spruce with slabs. It, I, in my opinion, it makes it look a lot better. Also, be sure not to forget this because I forgot this. Place the ladders here just for aesthetics, just make it look less plain. And so that's the finished uh, product. Another note, guys, make sure uh, if you want to see this 6901 build, um, then make sure to tell that to me in the comments. I, the reason why I don't really want to do it is because. This is like in a much larger scale than the engines that I, the engine that I just created, and the engines that I've been creating, or the locomotives that I've been creating. Um, so yeah, if you want to see this, as you can see, it's like a lot bigger than SD70AC when they're like in real life, actually about the same height. I'm pretty sure, I think. But yeah, so if you want to see this build, go ahead and tell me that in the description or in the comments below, and. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so once again, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.